Hey guys, it's me again, and this is a requested video for Old Time 40s. He wanted to know how to install Windows 2000 so he can use it on one of his computers or on a virtual machine. I'm going to show him how to do it, the basic steps. Now, as you see, before we get started, before I started up the virtual machine up, what you'll firstly need is your system minimum system requirements must be a computer with at least an Intel Pentium 2 processor you'll need at least a minimum of 128 megabytes of RAM for minimum or you could use 64 megabytes but I'd recommend turning off all of the visual effects and then for hard drive space you'll need at least a minimum for it would be a 2 gigabyte it, depending on what your programs recommend a 4 gigabyte for recommended requirements you'll need at least the 256 megabytes of RAM for it to perform smoothly a processor that must have an Intel Pentium 3 or Pentium 4 and for hard drive space I'd say get like a 10 gig depending on what you're going to use it for if you're going to, I'd say I'd recommend a 10 gig if you're going to use, uh, going to install some security updates in Mozilla Firefox. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. As you see, I'm going to play, start the virtual machine. I got boot from the CD ROM. You may want to check your BIOS first. Check your BIOS first and adjust what. Where you want the boot from? Because I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, now I have it set to boot from the CD-ROM. You want to hit any key to boot from the CD, and this is what's going to come up. Sorry for taking so long to get the boot settings right. Yeah, it's it's gonna start up the Windows 2000 setup soon. Okay, I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do after it finishes, recognizes everything, or whatever it detects it. Okay, now when you see this come up on the screen, if you got an operating in system installed, you want to go ahead and delete the partition. Press D and hit, then hit Enter. Then hit L to delete. Then you want to go to the create. If you want to create a partition, you would have to hit the C key and press Enter. If you got, if you're going to create a partition. You gotta adjust it to make sure you have a certain size. If you're going to dual boot with Windows 98 or 95 or ME, install Windows 98 or 95 first before dual booting with Windows 2000 because you will overwrite the boot sector. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit Enter to install. It's gonna do a thing, it's gonna format the drive and it's gonna copy some files. Then after it gets done, with that, as you see, okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to format with the NTFS. But if you're, if you're going to dual boot, I'd say go use the FAT file system, but we're going to use NTFS, which is going to be faster since we're not using, we're just using one OS. So, I'm going to do a thing and I'm going to go ahead and pause.
Then when it gets done formatting, copying files, I'm going to get to you at the next part. Okay, now it's rebooting. As you see, you'll get this at the boot screen. Yeah, if you didn't hit no key to boot from the CD. This is kind of like installing Windows XP just to let you know. And whenever you see this boot screen, please be patient. Because some people don't have the patience. Give it a little time and it'll be good to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was just keeping the recorder thing up so I can um, pause it whenever I need it instead of pulling it back up. And you should get this screen when it comes up in another please wait box. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the next thing is gonna do after it is. It's gonna detect all your hardware after this. I'm just gonna show you the You wanna go ahead and let that detect everything. Just be patient, you're gonna have to wait a couple of minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and pause on this part. Okay, now you want to go ahead and, and set your keyboard layout and your currency. So if you live in the U.S., you want to go ahead and, and leave it the way it is. So you're going to go ahead and click Next, and you want to enter your name and your organization. And the next part is up where you got to enter your license key, and we'll go ahead and enter everything as you see. There we go. That'll be just fine. And you want to enter your computer name and administrator password if you want to. Click next. Adjust your time zone, time and date, or whatever on here. I'm gonna let this. Okay, when this come up, you want to make select n n no. You just want to put a name for it just in case. I'm just hit next on that part. So I entered a domain name or work group. And you just want to let it do its thing after that. Show you what. What it's going to do next. Okay, you want to let this do it. Um, install every, let it let it go through. It ain't you don't have to click on anything. After this finishes, you want to go ahead and restart. It'll let you know when it's ready. So I'll see you on the next part. Okay, after it's finished rebooting, this is, it should come back to this screen like normal. This is, this is the default boot screen in Windows 2000. As you may notice, what it, this is like installing XP. And you should get this screen. All right as you see it's green, that's the 
No, that's because there's no video driver installed. And I'm gonna show you how to install a video driver. On for, that's compatible for Windows 2000, if, depending on. As you see, I'm using it in a virtual machine. I'm using it in VMware. If it's, if you get a blue screen, if the screen's bluer, that, if, that means that, that the drivers are installed and you get better color. As you see, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And if let's see if we get sound. And it's going to recognize some of the drivers that won't start up. And this is what it's going to look like. Then you can uncheck this. And if you're, we're going to go ahead and, and use the VMware tool so you show you what it looks like if, if you get the drivers installed. You want to adjust the visual effects while we're in display properties. You, you right click and you want to go to properties. You want to go to the effects tab. You want to have all of these checked except for use large icons. We're going to click OK. You know, click apply. And we, we get this error message. We're going to click OK. But we found a better way to do it manually. As you see, we're going to go to properties. We're going to go to where it says hardware. Device manager. You know where it says video controller. We're going, right, we're going to right click and go to properties. Go to driver. Update driver. Next. Search for a suitable driver, recommend it. Uncheck all of these, specify location, Br browse my computer, or wherever the driver is located. And once we have the driver installed, we're going to click OK. Might as well not do it this time. We install the driver next. After you get your drivers installed, um, then you should be good to go. But one thing, make sure you install Internet Explorer 6 and update Rollup 1. I was trying to get the drivers installed, trying to find them. But it ain't, somehow it's not saying it's compatible on here. You do some DLL files. So, 
I hope this helped you out, and see ya.